Hey family. Hey beautiful people of the Most High God. How are you guys doing on this beautiful, beautiful day? Yes guys, it is Saturday evening and I'm coming on to just give you a word of encouragement, a word of encouragement that the Holy Spirit um, prompted me to come on and to say to you guys, I hope all is well with you wherever you are in the world. I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, be glad in it. This is God's day that he's made for us. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers, as well as those that have just subscribed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me give you a hug. I'm holding the phone. Hold on, guys. That's a hug from me to you. I hope you felt that. Welcome. I'm so ha happy, and I'm so glad to have you guys, my tribe, coming along with me on this journey. Hallelujah. As we build up the kingdom together, as we encourage one another, hallelujah, in words and in, you know, deeds, you know, I'm so happy to have you guys here with me. Welcome, guys. Welcome to anyone that's watching for the first time. Hi, my name is Nee, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, a scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome, welcome, and welcome, guys. The Holy Spirit had me to come on and he said to encourage my people. So many are struggling with so many different things in their life right now. A lot of difficulties. A lot of difficulties is what he's saying. That people have been dealing with. Some things that you've been dealing with um, has been mental. 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 Uh, uh, mental. Just constant mental negativity thoughts this that racing thoughts um just a lot of mentalness that you're dealing with in your mind things that are happening in your mind and it's because of um a combination lack of you know getting into the word lack of you know trying to pray a little bit more um just a lack of those things but then some are dealing with things that are just life things happening to them to the point where hallelujah they just don't know why this is happening, why that's happening. Things are happening with family members. Things are happening on their job. Things are happening in their uh, marriage. And it's a, so much at times where they feel like their hair could just stand up on their head. And someone else may not be able to deal with what you're dealing with. But the Lord wants me to let you know that his grace is sufficient. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. His grace is sufficient. Yes, it may seem like you're by yourself. No, 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 no. You are not by yourself. I know it may feel like it. I know it may feel, feel like you're dealing with so many things um, in your personal life, things that you haven't even told people that you're dealing with, even mentally, the ones that are dealing with a lot of mental um, things, the, thing that the enemy's coming against your mind, back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back, you know, and it's almost been to the point of even those thoughts have raced through your mind about why am I here? What, you know, what, what is my purpose? Why am I here? But the devil is a liar. I'm going to serve him notice. He is a liar and he is not going to win. So I just want to come on and encourage you that the only way he won't win is as you get in the word of God, you begin to pray, you begin to seek God as never before. You begin to cry out to God. Hallelujah. And God said he's already ready and willing hallelujah your deliverance is already there hallelujah it's already been taking place it's been done over two thousand years ago so what you and we me have to do when the enemy comes in and tries to do things to us we have to speak the word of god we have to push ourselves sometimes we don't feel like it but we have to push 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 ourselves to speak the word of god to pray even the more hallelujah um a lot of times you may have to even fast concerning whatever you're dealing with. You know, in other words, whether it's fasting once a day, twice, uh, two days, three days, whatever he gives you to fast. You may have to cut down and fast, cut down on the eating. 
and fast and be able to hear the voice of the Lord. And many times I, when I fast, I can hear God's voice even the more. So the fasting really does allow you to get even more clarity on what he's saying to you, what he wants you to do, which way he wants you to move in this situation. But God is, wants me to let you know that he has not left you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I know it may feel like you're by yourself. I know it may feel like you have no support of, of family and friends. I know it may seem like you're out here by yourself with your children, raising them by yourself. Hallelujah. And your children are just all just uh, doing things that just, you know, it's, it's a lot of different uh, personality conflicts and just don't want to listen, don't want to obey. You know, some have gotten, gotten themselves in all in trouble with the law and you're just like, what am I going to do? Hallelujah. I know your marriage may feel like it's just falling apart. Hallelujah. There's no um, communication in that home and you just feel like, how much more can I take? I feel like I'm living with a roommate. You know, I feel like the love is not there no more. How much more can I deal with this? You know, it's like a routine. I'm just waking up dealing with this person. God is saying, even in that, I'm going to give you clarity. I'm going to give you clarity. Just begin to pray and get in his word. Spend time with God, whether you have to fast or whatever. God is saying he's going to show you. Hallelujah. He's going to show you even in dreams, God said he's going to begin to show you guys things and dreams and let you see what move to make. Because a lot of times that will give you even clarity, even the more, you know, sometimes it's like, well, I don't hear God. I don't hear God, but he'll show you in a dream and let you know what move to make. Amen. So be encouraged, guys. I just wanted to come on real quick and give you that word that God has given me. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Father, I thank you for each one. Under the sound of my voice, I ask that you would encourage their heart. I come against every demonic work. I come against witchcraft, voodoo, hexes, and spells. I come against every demonic work taking a hold of your people, giving them negative thoughts, giving them, oh God, feelings of despair where they can't feel like they can't make it. They don't know if they could trust you. Hallelujah. Father, we know that you are faithful. You are a good father and you stand by your word. You are faithful to perform it. We come against every demonic work. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth prevails against you. You have no power over God's people. You have no power over over God's people. Let me repeat it. You have no power over God's people. Each one under the sound of my voice. Father, I ask that you would give them strength, encourage their heart. Let them know that you are fighting every battle, as you said, behind the scenes. You are working for them. Hallelujah. Let them know, God, that you are working in the midst of even when they feel like giving up. You are right there. Hallelujah. And things are going to begin to turn around. I hear the Lord saying, things are going to begin to turn around. Trust him. I hear him saying, trust me. Tell my people to trust me. Things are going to begin to turn around eyes haven't seen ears haven't heard the things i have been stored for those who love me god loves you i love you in jesus name we pray amen be encouraged family god is with you i know it's not easy you can cry if you need to cry let it let those tears roll but guess what god is right there with you he sees he knows Hallelujah. I know a lot of times we feel like, you know, how much more, how much more. But, oh, guess what? His strength is made perfect in weakness. When you feel like you're weak, that's when you're really, really strong. Amen. Be encouraged. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified of every new upcoming video. I love you guys so much. Be encouraged. And remember, you're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you.